In today's video, let's see the second pillar of maritime organization. MARPOL, the International Convention for the Prevention of Pollution from Ships. The International Convention for the Prevention of Pollution from Ships, or MARPOL, is one of the most important international maritime environmental accords. The International Maritime Organization created it with the goal of reducing pollution of the oceans and seas, such as dumping, oil spills, and air pollution. The original MARPOL was signed on February 17, 1973, however it did not go into effect immediately. The current treaty is a hybrid of the 1973 Convention and the 1978 Protocol, which took effect on October 2, 1983. As of January 2018, 156 countries were signatories to the Convention, representing 99.42% of global maritime tonnage. All ships flagged under MARPOL signatory countries, regardless of where they sail, are subject to its requirements, and member nations are liable for vessels registered on their national ship registry. Annex I regulations for the prevention of pollution by oil, entered into force October 2, 1983, covers both operational and accidental oil pollution prevention. The 1992 revisions to Annex I made it essential for new oil tankers to have double hulls and introduced a phase-in timetable for existing tankers to fit double hulls, which was later updated in 2001 and 2003. Annex II regulations for the control of pollution by noxious liquid substances in bulk, entered into force October 2, 1983, describes the discharge criteria and measures for the control of pollution caused by noxious liquid substances transported in bulk. Approximately 250 substances were evaluated and included in the list appended to the convention. Residues can only be discharged to reception facilities if certain concentrations and conditions are met. In any circumstances, no hazardous substance containing residues may be discharged within 12 miles of the nearest land. Annex 3 Prevention of Pollution by Harmful Substances Carried by Sea in Packaged Form, entered into force July 1, 1992. Outlines the broad criteria for producing detailed standards on packaging, marking, labeling, documentation, stowage, quantity restrictions, exceptions, and notifications. Harmful chemicals are those substances that are classified as marine pollutants in the International Maritime Dangerous Goods Code or that meet the requirements in the appendix of Annex 3 for the purposes of this Annex. Annex 4 Prevention of Pollution by Sewage from Ships, entered into force September 27, 2003. The discharge of sewage into the sea is prohibited, except when the ship has an approved sewage treatment plant in operation or when the ship is discharging commendated and disinfected sewage using an approved system at a distance of more than 3 nautical miles from the nearest land, sewage that is not comminuted or disinfected is prohibited. Sewage that is not comminuted or disinfected is prohibited. Annex B Prevention of Pollution by Garbage from Ships, entered into force December 31, 1988. Deals with various types of rubbish and specifies the distances from land and the method in which they may be disposed of. The Annex's most notable feature is the entire prohibition on the disposal of all sorts of plastics into the sea. Annex 5 Prevention of Air Pollution from Ships, entered into force May 19, 2005. Sulfur oxide and nitrogen oxide emissions from ship exhausts are limited, and purposeful emissions of ozone-depleting compounds are prohibited. Designated emission control areas have more rigorous rules for nitrogen oxides and sulfur oxides and particulate matter. Mandatory technical and operational energy efficiency measures aimed at lowering greenhouse gas emissions from ships are covered by a chapter established in 2011. IMO 2020 New emission requirements for fuel oil use by ships go into effect on January 1, 2020, under the International Maritime Organization's 2020 regulation. Outside of sulfur emission control areas, the global sulfur limit in marine fuels was reduced from 3.5% to 0.5%. This will dramatically improve air quality in many densely populated coastal and port districts, preventing over 100,000 premature deaths and a significant increase in asthma cases in these locations. The United States is one of almost 170 countries that have agreed to the reforms. The maritime and oil industries are projected to undergo significant changes as a result of this, with big ship upgrades and increasing production of lower sulfur fuel. 
Within an emission control zone, bunker fuels must have a sulfur content of less than 0.1%. In its Marine Environmental Protection Committee and Pollution Prevention and Response Subcommittee, the EMO has endeavored to ensure that the 0.5% sulfur limit is applied consistently. As a result, many regulatory and practical procedures have been developed to detect any non-compliance, such as during port state controls. Hope you like this video. Please leave any questions or comments in the comments section. Keep following Marin Aura to see more such videos.